What's going on people, it is Irish Gunner HD here, you can call me Irish, and today you're going to be watching some more Battlefield 4 highlights. So, today I thought I would talk about two subjects. First of all, the Titanfall beta was uh, like publicly announced and sign-up started, and uh, also uh, many YouTubers were able to upload their footage from the, um, the special event thing. And so we've got to see our first bits of gameplay, or, or a bit of uh, Titanfall gameplay, which has been good. And then also, just in the last couple of hours or so, I, I read it on Reddit that, um, I, I read it on Reddit, haha, <laughs> that uh, Battlefield 4 Naval Strike has been, like the details have been given out officially on battlefield4.com forward slash battlefield4 slash expansion packs slash Naval Strike. So it's all legit and official, like I'm looking at the page here myself. Um, so details on that. So I'm going to get into that first, since that's like the breaking news. So... Naval Strike, which is the uh, the third expansion after Second Assault, which has, in fairness, it's yet to come out on PC and I believe PlayStation 4, I'm not sure, but um, as far as I know, apparently only Xbox One and Xbox 360 players have have uh, the Second Assault now, but Naval Strike is the next one to come after that. And basically, they've announced, so I'll, I'll just read it off the page. Battlefield 4 Naval Strike takes the intense and dramatic water-based combat introduced in the Battlefield 4 to uh, four all-new multiplayer map or four all-new maps set in the South China Sea. Blow open a crash passenger plane and capture fishing villages across the tropical Lost Islands, drop a submarine on your foe as you infiltrate a naval base, or rush between shipping docks and rocky islands on the massive wave breaker map. Wage war across stormy seas in the largest ocean stretch in a battlefield map yet with Nansha Strike. Storm an abandoned cliff off or and uh, storm an abandoned uh, cliffside. Jesus, sorry. Storm an abandoned cliffside resort or get lost in the breathtaking vistas in Operation Mortar. Naval Strike also introduces five new weapons: the amphibious hovercraft vehicle, ten assignments, and the all-new carrier assault mode, which is an homage to the fan favorite Titan mode from Battlefield 2142. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> so there you go. That's all the information. So the key features are four new maps, as we can, oh, as we usually expect, set in the South China Sea. So there's Lost Islands, Nancha Strike, Wave Breaker, and Operation Mortar. Now, Operation Mortar. Most people are going to cringe at the thought of uh, of hearing that name, but I'm sure it's got nothing to do with the actual piece of equipment mortar. But one thing that struck me as being awesome is five new weapons, five all new weapons to Battlefield 4. I'm assuming they're going to be naval themed, as in like a harpoon or some kind of like underwater, like like some weapon that you're able to fire underwater or something like that. But um, that's really awesome because as most people know that played Battlefield 3 uh, and played like had bought the expansions for that, we only got 10 new weapons with the very first expansion that came out or... Oh no, 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 I suppose. So we got the first... Yeah, so it's been the same. So... um. We got new expansions with um with Back to Carcan and with Close Quarters, and it's been the same with Battlefield Four. We got new expansions or with new weapons with the first two expansions, but after that in Battlefield Three they stopped. Now we're going to get another five. It's not going to be ten, and I would imagine since it's only going to be five, that's probably going to be the last of it. There won't probably I would doubt that there's, we're going to get any more new weapons after that. <laughs> but um sorry, I introducing the amphibious hovercraft vehicle. So that's going to be kind of cool to mess around with. I know like we've already got um like the things i can't remember i can never remember the name of them but they're like the the personnel carriers that can go like they can sail in the sea and they can go on land already but uh to have an actual hovercraft that could be kind of cool i'd imagine it's going to be a lot like the rib boat though in that it's a uh, it's going to be like the rib boat in that it's kind of flimsy like it can be taken down very easily but it'll probably be like fairly heavily armored uh with not ar not armored um wet like fairly strongly like fairly well set up with weapons basically and uh it's it's probably yeah so it, that that sounds good and also like obviously except for like unlike the rib boat you can take it on land and, and actually drive it around on land so that should be interesting two additional gadgets the tree gl which is a tree grenade launcher attachment for the assault class and the anti-heli mine an aircraft disabling projectile for the engineer class anti-heli mine now in the reddit thread there was um a few people made uh, like had been talking about this and they, I, they, I, I watched the link so or I watched a video sorry somebody linked to a video on YouTube of a Russian anti anti helicopter mine that could what basically what it did was it sensed helicopters passing over it and anything within a hundred meters up it would it was capable of taking out so it'd be interesting to see how that that balances out then finally carrier assault game mode which is a reimagining of the classic battlefield 4 2142 titan mode now i personally never played titan uh, titan mode i joined the battlefield franchise in um battlefield bad company 2 so i never actually played 2142 so i've seen videos on it and like in 24 2142 setting the futuristic thing with all the titans and the mechs and the row and the flying stuff and all that that looks awesome 
how they're going to transfer that over to uh to to like the modern naval kind of warfare modern warfare kind of setting thing should be interesting but uh yeah that's that that, that should be kind of cool and then finally 10 new assignments for with unlocks for each so i'd be curious to see what the unlocks are um i i, I would assume that the 10 like five of them would be for the weapons but what would the other five be for who knows but uh, that's it on the naval strike thing some naval strike news coming out today very happy to uh to see that hoping more than anything though that we can just get our hands on the second assault sooner rather than later but however next up uh titanfall so the titanfall beta startups or the uh, sign up sorry jeez i'm stumbling over my words so much today um the titanfall beta sign ups started yesterday i believe and the beta comes out tomorrow uh for those of you watching this in the future today's the 13th of february so <laughs> yesterday was the 12th tomorrow was the 14th so um yeah, so that's looking real good. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm liking the look of it a lot. I'm watching actually uh, Jack Frags' video, one of his latest videos now. It's just gameplay with no commentary or anything like that. It's all just live gameplay, and it looks sick. Like it looks like. Uh, I have some reservations. I know this is only a beta that they're playing, and like it's not nothing's final and stuff like that. But um, I have some reservations here and there about things that I'm seeing. I'll keep my final judgments on that for the full game, of course. But basically, I like the look of it. I really do like it. The Titans. I don't. The Titans seem to take a lot to take down. Like, even for Titan versus Titan combat. I know that they were probably going for, like, a more Halo-esque time to kill when it comes to that. Like, a longer time to kill. Like, it takes more skill. that to be more precise and more tactical. I get that. But also, it's like... Well, soldiers, like, the, the pilots don't have really a, any real chance of taking down, a, a, like, a Titan with even half health, I wouldn't say. Um, but again very very early days beta and stuff like that i've signed up i just checked my email just before i start recording this just to see if i'd hear that and back not yet uh, apparently the latest that you'll hear about it is the 17th so let's hope i can get in before that and get you guys a bit of uh, a bit of footage for the channel but um yeah it's shaping up to be really good my only problem with it is people are saying that it's going to be the cod killer or like the like the next big thing i'm not so sure purely because i can't see the kind of typical call of duty fan base player base whatever you want to call it being into this i know it's big guns big explosions fast-paced gameplay and all that but like i don't think i'm sure loads of people will buy it and try it out but like from what i can see i'm not seeing this as being like something to take people away from call of duty you never know it is made by the people that made call of duty so if anyone can do it they can but um just for what we're seeing so far the whole titan thing i it appeals to me definitely it appeals to me i'm i'm really looking forward to trying it out but uh like i don't think as far as being a cod killer i'm not quite sure i don't think it's got the i don't think many of the typical fanboys of call of duty are gonna be like i don't know it seems like it's gonna be almost too tactical or too kind of big and clunky when it comes to the titans and stuff like that for their liking uh depending on how they work out the controls and stuff obviously but that's it that's uh basically two of the most recent news topics that i've seen that i've wanted to cover uh two fairly big ones i may say but uh, that's it. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching and goodbye.